Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make this Skyrim like Wombus and Objective Marker. So as you can see, when I am looking at the green sphere, the green marker is in the center. And when I look at the red sphere, the red marker is at the center. And it kind of works like the marker from Skyrim. So when you are not looking at it, it will stay at the edge and when we come out, it will move from the other side. So it will work exactly like the one from Skyrim. So this is what we are going to make today. So before I start, if you like my tutorials, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support my channel, you can do that on my Patreon and you can get all the profiles that I make from there so first thing we have to create is this textures so to create them just create a rectangle like this then add a text like W then center it both horizontally and vertically then duplicate this again then add so here um, we have a stroke I'll change that to black now duplicate this and now duplicate this and uh, change this to N and center it so you need W N E and S so west, north, east and south. So create all four of them. Then after that, you need to select all four of them and duplicate. So we have this big rectangle. Now duplicate this again and change the color to white and I will change the stroke color to white also then I will select all of them then union then select this and place this here and center this and this will be our mask so you need this one and this one then you need to create the markers so for that just duplicate this and change that to black then create a symbol that you like then place that here so yeah like that and create all this then create this background image also now go to the engine I already have all of them imported so now we will create the texture for our compass in my previous video I have already shown you how to make the compass but for the sake of this tutorial I will show it again so I will right click on the compass texture then open it up so one thing you have to do before that is select all of this and go to asset actions then bulk edit via property my matrix then go to compression and change this to user interface so now go back here then we will drag and drop our mask image then multiply both of them together and I will change the material domain to user interface then I will change the blend mode to masked then I will connect this to final color and connect this to opacity mask then I will get a texture coordinate and create a scalar parameter I will name this U offset then I will get a constant then I will get an add and connect this to A and connect this to the UV and I will now get an append 
and connect this here connect this here and connect this here remember the u of z should be at the top so we can pan the text horizontally like this from left to right we can leave the v of z to 0 we don't need to vertically pan the image just horizontally so as we increase the number we can pan this to the right and if we decrease this we can pan this to the left so that's all we have to do here click apply and save then we will create our widget so user interface widget blueprint then i will name this skyrim then open it up then bring our background in resize it like that then we will bring our compact mat this is the material for the texture then resize it so before that we need to do something just go to go back to the material and connect this to the final color and connect this to opacity also so this is just to adjust that so i will anchor it here and then i will bring it here and i will resize it like this now i will just bring it here and also i will bring this here then i will increase the size vertically now go back to the material then reconnect this then hit apply and say then we can anchor this here So now go to the graph and from event tick just type in get player character then from here drag and type in get control rotation then split this now I will get a print to show you what is happening here and connect the C to string then compile and save um, now we need to add the widget to the player so go to the third person character blueprint create this to display the widget so get player controller then create new widget blueprint then add to viewport then I will change the class to Skyrim then compile so we can see that and when I move around you can see the numbers changing so as we rotate the number will change from 0 to 360 for a complete rotation so to make this number from 0 to 1 we can just divide this by the maximum value which is 360 so divide by 360 So now we get a value from 0 to 1. So we can use this value to drive the U of set of the material. So to do that go back to the designer and select the material of north and east and I will name the image to Comber make sure that you select this image not the background then go back here and i will delete the print string then control drag it here then drag and type in dynamic so get dynamic material and connect this here 
then drag and type in set scalar parameter and the name is u offset so now it will change according to the player's position so if you want to set a particular position to north you can add an offset here and increase or decrease the value till you get the north pointing that way and it won't change in game so it will be permanently there then you can add the offset again so to whichever direction you want the north to be set so now we will create the marker so for that we need to create an actor like these two so these are just for the just for knowing where the location is you can you don't really need to create this actors you can actually use the actors you have in the level and pass the location in but for the sake of this tutorial i will create the actors blueprint class then actors i will name this markers then open it up i will add a sphere so that's all we need to do here then close the actor then drag that in and so this one will create a material for this and i will name this red then i will change this to red and now i will create a new material or you can just create an instance if you have parameterized that color then i will change the name to green then i will give it a green color apply and save you don't really need to save you can just use apply but that's a habit for me now just duplicate this and select the sphere and for the second one i will give a green color and for this one i will give a red color so we have two actors there now go to the widget and event construct drag from here and type in get all actors of class remember that you shouldn't do this with event ticks because this is a very slow operation so we are just going to use the event construct and get all the actors of the name marker and we will store that in a variable so promote to variable i will name this mark so that's all we need to do here now control drag this in drag from here and type in get get a copy and zero now we will get the world location get world location of the sphere or the default scene root both will work now we will cast to the third person character cast to third person character then i will convert this to a pure cast so we don't need the input now we will get the player character get player character then connect this to the object and from here we will get the follow camera get follow camera then we will get the get ball location then we will get get forward vector and we will get right vector so we have all this information now we will 
right click and type in find look at rotation and for the start we need to give the world location of this one and the end is the world location of our sphere or the marker so now from here we will dot this with the forward vector so type in dot and connect this here and type in print and connect this here connect this here and now we will add our material to the marker so we will now create the material for the marker so right click and material marker dot mat and marker underscore mat then open it up then change the material domain to user interface and the blend mode to masked then we will drag and drop both the objectives in then get a max node and connect this here before that get a multiply so we will give this a red color and we will give this one a green color so i am just going to use the max node here so we have because we have a black and white image so with the max node only the white values will be displayed so we can use that you can also use a lerp now connect this to the final color now we will duplicate this max and connect this here and connect this here and connect this to the opacity mask we can just use this because we are using a color and it won't work so you have to do like this you can also add a new max here for the third texture and so on you can also use lerp if you want and if you are working with an alpha I mean an image with alpha you might need to use the lerp but for this material I'm just going to use max now we will get a texture coordinate and and add and connect this here now I get an append like the compass append to vector and the first one should be the scalar parameter the name should be u offset slash i mean underscore one u offset underscore one then connect this to a and just a, just get a constant and connect this to b then duplicate all this then connect this here so if you don't want an image to be displayed you can multiply that with 0 or 1 and you can co convert the uh, constant to a scalar parameter so if you have a value of 0 the image won't be displayed and if you give a value of 1 it will be displayed and also you can convert this to a parameter and you can dynamically change the image or the texture in this sample like that using blueprint and also you can overlay this material on top of each other so you can just duplicate that material and overlay it on top of each other and control which one to display at which region etc so that's all we need to do here i think that's it now click apply and save and we will now drag and drop that into our widget then resize it anchor it there now 
I will name this marker then drag from here get and type in dynamic get dynamic material then set scalar parameter then the parameter name is u offset underscore one then connect this to the value so here um, the color is different so the green one is the first one so I'm just going to fix that I will, op I will open it up and I will change this to green and I will change this to red so now so you can see that when I am pointing to the green one the value of the value you can see at the left hand side of the screen is close to 1 and if I move away the value kind of changes and the green marker moves away also and when we are at negative 1 also we will get that in this center so we need to fix all of that so here you can see that if even if I move to the left it will decrease from 0.9 and if I move to the right it will so also decrease from 0.9 so we have no way of telling which way the value is going or which way we are rotating we need to fix that also this is taking into account the C rotation also we don't really want that we just want the X and the Y so fix that to fix that we will go here and from here we will change this to 2D to vector 2D and duplicate this and connect this here so it will convert that to vector 2D also then delete the dot and from here type in dot so we get the 2D dot product uh, now there is some issue that we need to fix so we need to connect this to the value also so here you can see that when I move to the move from the right to the left it will move this way and the values changes from 1 to 9 8 7 etc and if I move the other way around the value also changes from 1 2 9 8 etc like that so it will always move in one direction so it has no way of telling which way we are rotating so to fix that we can actually connect this to the right vector so now when I move this way when I move from the left to the right the value will be positive and the other way around the value will be negative so now we can move both ways but now one problem we have here is that um, when I am completely rotated it will still be at the center we don't really want that so to fix that we can use the forward vector so the forward vector you can see that when we are not facing the object the value will be negative and when we are facing facing the object the value will be positive we are going to use that to our advantage so just reconnect the right vector here
and now duplicate this and connect this here and duplicate the dot product and dot this with the get rotation x vector so connect this here and connect this to here now we will get a branch and connect this here and we will watch the value so when we want it to stop so we want to stop it so here one problem you can see that um, if I connect this to the print string and if I move this way this much you can still see the marker but it is at, at the edge we don't want that we only want the marker to be at the edge when we are at 180 degrees from the object so to get that we can actually divide this by 2 divide float by float and divide this by 2 then connect this to the value compile so now when we are only facing this way so this is actually um, 90 degrees from the object so when we are facing this way it will be at the edge and also this way now we need to make it stop when we are not facing the object so for that we can use this value so connect that to the print string and hit play and let's see at what value the edge is at so here the edge is at 0.2 and here it is at 0.2 also because both the values will be same so here we can drag from here and type in greater than 0.2 and connect this here so now when I move like this it will be stuck there and when we are directly facing at it from the opposite direction it won't be at the center and when we move towards it it will come from the other side so now it is working like the markers in Skyrim so when we are looking directly at it it will be at the center now what we will do is create a macro from all this so select all of this then collapse to macro I will name this objective or something like that it doesn't really matter then open it up then for the input we will connect this here and the number so I will change the name to index and then the other value we need to change here is the u offset so connect that here also so we change this to u offset then hit compile and go back to the event graph then connect this here and connect it here and the index number is 0 and this is u offset underscore 1 so let's see if this is working so it is working now let's do that for the second one so just duplicate this macro we can get a sequence here can get a sequence here like this 
connect this here and connect this here so the second one is 1 this one is 0 and this one is u of z number 2 then open the macro then you can also connect this to the output compile so you can also connect this here if you want but I like to use the sequence node so now compile now you can see that both of them are working if I am looking at the red one it will be at the center and if I look at the green one it will be at the center so now it is working perfectly you can add more actors if you want I will duplicate this and I will duplicate the red and I will change the color to blue then apply and save then I will select the sphere and apply this and go back to the marker material now I will just duplicate all of this and add blue then I will get a max and duplicate duplicate that again and connect this here and connect this here connect this here and connect this here and from here connect this here and connect this here then apply and save now we have a blue one so let's add that so duplicate this and connect this here and change this to 2 and the u offset should be um, u offset 3 so u offset 3 so the blue one is also working now so here you can see few problems so whenever I move from the left to the right it should go in the opposite direction you can see the red marker it should go to the right but it is going to the left here so we need to fix that also if I jump uh, the C direction is still affecting the marker so we need to fix that also so to fix both of that we will go in and to fix the direction we just need to reverse the direction so I will just multiply this with negative 1 so it will invert the direction so press compile so since this is a macro all of this will be updated with minus 1 so now it will move in the way we want so now the red will move in the left direction and the blue will move in the right direction and so on so there is also the problem of the c values affecting the marker so to fix that we will go to the macro and here we will drag and type in normalize 2d and connect this here and connect this here and we will duplicate this and we will normalize this also but this is already normalized vector I think but just in case this one is not normalized though connect this here and connect this here now the c value won't affect our marker so that's it
so there is a minor issue with the blue one i think okay it is working fine now so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials so my tutorials take a lot of time to make and lot of research because i make kind of intermediate level tutorials and there are not many other places where i can look at and learn all of these things and i have to research a lot to make these things work so if you want to support that you can do that on my patreon and get all the project files there so check that out and thanks for watching.